Hey everyone, I'm Harleen, it's really nice to see you on our channel. First of all, please subscribe and thumbs up and let us begin this video. In this video, we are going to review one of the most amazing products created by Yay Commerce called Yay SMTP. So if you are ready, let's not waste our time and let's start right away. So today we are going to talk about another product created by Yay Commerce, as I mentioned before, and it is accessible for free on WordPress. That product is called Yay SMTP, Simple VP SMTP Mail, which allows us to easily send emails from our website. SMTP itself means Simple Mail Transfer Protocol. So first of all, we are going to choose a service with which our emails will be delivered to our clients. As you can see, this plugin gets regular updates and has over a thousand active installations. Now let's go to the dashboard. Over here in the search line, uh, you can type yay SMTP and as you can see, I already have it installed, so let's just click on activate. And we can see the dashboard now. On the first page, uh, we can see the major steps that need to be completed. And under the step one, we have options such as uh, from who email will be sent in terms of name and from whose email it will be sent in terms of email address. We can write them down over here in these fields and there are plugins that allow you to change from mail and from email inside of the plugin but if this is displayed then inside the plugin it will not work. We can turn this on or off by default it is off so let's just leave it there. Here, let's type a test name. Then we have step two, and that is to choose a service. But today we are going to choose Gmail, but in order to use Gmail server, we need a client ID and API key. For that, we have to visit our Google console, then click on API and services. Afterward, we just need to click on credentials, create credentials and create auth client id in the application tab over here under this tab click on it and just choose the web application option afterward only thing left to do is to copy this link that you can see over here and go place it over there then click on create now google provided us with the client id and secret which we need to copy and go back to our dashboard, click, paste it here and save. Then we have to click on confirm authorization, connect it, and that is basically it. Now we are going to send a test email. Choose an email or type it in this field. So here it gave us an error oh, because we forgot in our libraries to search Gmail API and turn that one on. So let's and this is a requirement so that google allows us to work with its server we will install the api from the library and as far as we are done with both api key and client id we are going to send one more test email in order to check if we received it or no let's click on here and as you can see it worked email successfully sent now let's go to our gmail to check if we successfully received the sent email and as you can see we did and it is not in the spam which is very important because most of our clients will not check the spam and this is an extremely easy method to send emails with smtp server over here we have additional settings in the dashboard which allows us options such as receive smtp email delivery summary which basically will send us some statistics how many mails were sent and failed etc we can choose option weekly or monthly for it and we have another option of fallback carrier that is basically if more than three times mail is failed we can turn this on and try another smtp host of ours and we have to do some adjustments here as well including smtp host encryption type smtp authentication username and password now let's go back to settings where we have email logs where we can see the status of the emails that has been sent or failed 
we can choose or delete certain ones. And also, we have email log settings where we can review full and basic information. Turn this on or off as we want to. And we can choose option of how many days after uh, logs will be deleted. For example, after 60 days, the logs can be deleted. Uh, let's click on full information and then save. And here we can search and find whatever we need. Over here we have support and if we click on this, it will redirect us to the e-commerce website where we can contact support team and receive amazing and quick support. We also can see the plugin's documentation that will basically show us every detail about the plugin and instructions on how to use it. So guys, that was all I wanted to tell you. If you like this video, do not forget to thumbs up and share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic. Also check out the description down below where you can find the links to Yay Commerce website and Yay SMTP plugin. See you in the next video. Bye.